Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Santa Claus. So, let's continue where we left off. We are almost ready to declare war on Carthage. We just need to wait two more turns and I still need to upgrade the Spearman. Let's start from doing that. That will cost us just over 100 gold. And I was actually considering starting a city all the way to the south. We should be safe from the Mongols. There are two city-states kind of blocking the way. The Mongols will likely take these city-states because that's what they do. But this city should be safe enough. And there's silver to the east. It's quite possible that there's a decent city location that would also grant us access to silver over there. Our scout is nearby, we can go explore. But even if I don't start a city to the south, I can still start a city in this area. I can start a city here. I usually don't consider these kinds of locations because obviously they are bad in a regular game. But as this sieve, this kind of terrain is great. So we could grab a settler in one of our cities, maybe after the university. There's no huge rush and I need that university. We let the university finish and then we can get the settler. Someone entered Enlightenment era. Interesting. Well, we need to find more sieves. So let's explore this way. Is this England right here? Yeah, it actually is. What's up, England? I'm interested in trade agreements. Well, actually, I'm not. Or am I? Hello again. They do have some gold, but I don't have anything I would be willing to trade at the moment. So, nope. Alright. Well then. One more turn, right? Yep, one more turn. But we should swap these units around a little bit. I'm not quite sure just how many units Carthage will throw at us. It might make more sense to play slightly more defensively for a bit. Kill some of their units and then launch an attack on the city. Instead of going all in. I was going to go all in, but I'm not quite sure if that's the best way to do this. They have quite a few units around Carthage. And with that road, they can just reinforce Utica instantly. It might be better to play defensively for a few turns. That's probably what we're going to do, actually. Alright, great writer. So create great work. And continue the university. Fan population in Elf Town also. We got one unemployed dude in here. So, there. Okay. Can we buy Aaron from anyone? Let's have a look. England? No. We can't buy it from anyone right now, which is really annoying. Because I'd like to upgrade my warrior. Can we buy horses? Yeah, we can buy horses. Well then, let's do it. How much will we have to pay? Not too much, hopefully. Three gold per turn. Alright, that's fine. But in this case, I'm not going to wait for the university. Let's recruit our unique unit right away. We do have barracks in this city. So we'll recruit two of these guys. And then we'll be able to upgrade them directly to reindeer knights. Right? I assume so. Well, it says knight over here, but they should upgrade to reindeer knights. And if not, I'll just recruit reindeer knights later. Alright. Well, we're going to play slightly defensively then. They are still at war with Mongolia. Although they might peace out if I declare war myself. It's quite possible that they will. But I'm not going to wait much longer. Let's just declare war. Yep, declare war. And we'll see how many units they are going to throw at us. We'll just wait here. I could build a road. Yeah, west from Christmas Village. That makes sense. Alright, next. This should be interesting. Would you be interested in no, I would not be interested. Actually, yes, I would, be, in fact, be interested. We don't really need more luxuries right now. I need gold more than I need anything else. Oh, these are from our other trades that just expired. That's fine. Alright, and we stole a tech. Nice. What can we get? Guilds, acoustics. We are halfway done with acoustics. 
it would still be worth slightly more than guilds, but I'll get guilds. We need guilds for Shivari anyway. So let's finish acoustics first. Yep, and then we'll worry about what's going to be next. The spy got promoted, 37 turns. That's a little bit too much. We could spy on the Mongols instead, or on England. Spying on England is usually a poor idea. Because they get an extra spy. It's much more likely that the AI has a spy in London. Let's try spying on the Mongols. And this will be a road. They are already coming, this is fine. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. This will also give us some experience. There, I can't quite kill him. Which is okay. This will be a snowman. And let's keep exploring. Here's another city-state. And that's that. Next. Things should go much, much faster once I get reindeer knights. These things are OP. <laughs> they really are. Looking forward to it. Oh, I should have started some trades. Let's maybe do that. So we can trade with the Mongols. Also, I should probably go after the Mongols next, because they have a lot of salt around here. They will be really dangerous. They have a lot of pretty good cities over there. And one more luxury. We can trade that one with England. Seven gold per turn. Yep, looks good. We are still losing 11. There's our first reindeer archer. And... Where do you think you're going? Can we actually kill him? Not quite. Well, I suppose that's fine. I probably shouldn't have moved here. But I did. One more road. Looks good. And that's that. Plus some population, just checking Tyla assignments. I'm building city walls here, just in case Carthage does exactly this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they are sending more units, which is exactly what I was counting on. And we got a promotion. Thanks for that. It was useful moving in after all. What do you think you're doing? Well, that's a test for our reindeer archer. You can just chill in Santa's workshop. Can we buy any iron now? I don't think we can. Yes, we can, from Shaka. I only need one. And we can buy more horses too. Except I don't have any gold. We could do something like this. Would he accept? Yeah, he would. That was a good deal, I would say. That was a very good deal, in fact. All right then, upgrade. Oh yeah, I still need to research iron working, right. <laughs> we'll do that, no problem. Any more improvements? No, we need to wait for our border to expand. Let's explore to the east. This is a pretty good location for a city. Looks like we could start a city over here and actually get that silver. We would have a fish, we would have more than enough snow for the snowman, and this is Tundra. Yeah, that would be a really nice city. I think we should go for it. Yeah, we should go for it for sure. Anyway. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Focus on this guy, I think. Unless I want to move that catapult, which I kind of don't. No, not really. That was almost a kill, but not quite. Oh well, that's fine. He can't do much to our catapult now. We will get some really nice experience from this. More wonders. Okay then. And more units incoming. They actually want to take Christmas Village. How cute. I don't think so. Not going to happen. There, one down. Kill that horseman. This is a much better way of doing things. I would rather just take the city faster, but we won't lose as many units this way and we will get a lot of experience. This is just so much better than going all in. More damage, yep, we won't kill that guy, but that's okay. And here's another reindeer archer. 
I don't think they are going to attack Elf Town. Probably not, but we got some fast units that can go defend it in case it actually happens. The snowman is done. We should make sure we are working that tile because it's a really damn good tile. Yep, we can move things around a bit. And this looks good. A few more turns to finish universities. And does that. We still need to find more AIs. Where are they hiding? I'm curious who the tech leader is. The 33% literacy one. Probably the crop yield leader. Although England has the top population, but England is not the tech leader. Alright, they really insist on attacking Christmas Village. Rationalism, obviously, that was the whole plan. And... Okay. Kill this dude? Yeah, we should. For obvious reasons. But... Well, it should be fine to move like this. And finish him off. Start attacking the Galliases. They are sending more. Three Galliases in range. It won't really be a problem, we have enough defenses in that area. This also looks like a good location for a city. Marble, two tiles with fish, but it's kind of on the other side of the world. Not great. The university is almost done, I think we should go for a settler directly after this. We got 15 happiness. We should get more cities for sure. We can get a city here, we can get a city here, we can get a city to the south. And I don't want a city in this area for when we go to war with the Mongols. And we will go to war with the Mongols, that's for sure. Heal this guy up. Looks like they are running out of units to throw at us. That's good. I could probably wait for physics, but we don't actually have the gold to upgrade our units. Speaking of gold, we need more cargo ships. We need any cargo ships at all. Yep, we do. Next. Oh, we lost the warrior. That's fine. There, iron working. And... Can't kill that unit. Let's do some more damage. This is going to be a really good experience. As for research, we need metal casting because that unlocks the Santa's workshop, which is our unique building. And it's a really damn good one. I think it's time to move in to start attacking, but let's take care of these guys first. Yep, I don't want them to harass Christmas Village while we are attacking Otike. But they are definitely running out of steam now. And keep exploring to the east. I think it's time to disband that Shireen soon. He can't explore much longer. Well, that's that. Next. Now I'm not interested in that kind of deal. What is that supposed to be anyway? People who like shiny things the most. Yeah, number one. I wonder who that is. Okay, time to back up a bit. And heal. Hold on, best way to do this? Like this. Well, no, I thought that would be a kill, but apparently not. Use city bombardment first. Actually, no. Use this guy first. That was not enough. More experience. They will keep shooting the composite bombman from the looks of it. So, is it time to move in? I think so. We need to attack with as many units as possible, all at the same time. They do have city walls around Otike, which might make it slightly problematic. I hope it won't, but it will take quite a few turns to actually grab that city. Probably at least five. Plus one pop. 19. The university is almost done, and we have one unemployed guy. We actually run out of tiles that we can work, which is why he's unemployed. I'm literally working every single tile that I can, other than the two Elf Town is working. 
Okay. Jerusalem declared war on us. Ask me if I care. No, not really. I don't. Thanks for the experience. I appreciate it. Alright, let's lock the university. Like so. Looks good. Anything we want to move? Nope, looks fine to me. Settler is next, or we could get a market first. Considering we are still losing 2 gold per turn, we should build markets, yeah. That settler can wait a tiny little bit longer. And more units incoming. Well, if nothing else, this will be really good experience for us. We need to reposition a bit. I don't want to be in city bombardment range yet. We could do something like this. Just to stay out of range of that city. And attack this guy. Looks good. So, heal up. I need Shivari ASAP. Let's actually go... Yeah, let's go for Shivari. Then we can start recruiting our other unique unit. We still got two horses. And considering I don't really have enough money for unit upgrades, I'm just waiting for Shivari. And then we'll recruit two more. Alright, next. I have a feeling this will still take a while. At least 10 turns, most likely. So, there's a metal casting. And yet another promotion. So, I'm actually going to show you all these promotions, because I don't think I did. So, this is skill level 2 for ranged units. This is the promotion expansion mod, in case you're confused why this is different. We got invasion, move along enemy roads as if they were your own. Hillman, which is double movement rate and increase defense by 30% on heals. Reputation, which is enemy units receive minus 10% combat strength when adjacent to any unit with this promotion. Guerrilla, which is plus 20% combat strength outside of friendly territory. And Militia, which is the opposite of Guerrilla, plus 20% combat strength inside friendly territory. Guard, which is plus 30% defense or combat strength near the capital. And based on capital proximity, minus 5% per tile distance between unit and the capital. That's kind of like the Ethiopia bonus, basically. And then we just got accuracy barrage, volley and cover one. I will go for skill level 3. There. And this guy, these are all the same exact promotions, I think. Yep. So, skill level 3. And I think it's time to attack Otike. Or is it? Doesn't look like there are many more units around there. So, the only problem is that I'll have to attack from the west. Otherwise, I won't be able to use every single catapult. We got two hills that we can attack from. And that's pretty much it. I can also attack from here, but there's a river, which makes it a little bit annoying. But it shouldn't be too hard. Alright, keep exploring some more. I think it's time to get rid of that trireme. Skill level 3. And more units with a death wish. Let's send the reindeer archer west. Let's send them both west. They will be more useful there. Heal. And next. Okay, they are still throwing units at us. I'm trying to avoid losses, but it's probably going to be impossible to completely avoid losses. Or at least, it's going to be very tough. We can kill this guy. I can actually kill him right now with my pikemen, and then attack the city. But the city will just heal back to fall on the same turn, won't it? It probably will. But we'll start doing some damage at least. So, move here and fortify, and disembark with the catapult. We have to hurry up with this. Skill level 2. So. I could get engineering and actually build a road across this river. We do already have engineering. I could actually build a road across the river. That makes sense. That would make our life easier. We should definitely get a road here. Because we don't have one at the moment. 
We'll need a rod to a ticker regardless. So we might as well just build it now. You need to repair. Heal, whatever. So that will take a few turns. We got another promotion. That's going to be what? Actually, let's go for boarding party. Yeah, this might be a bit problematic. We'll probably lose that trireme, which is not the end of the world. Skill level 2. And let's do some good damage here. I don't think I can kill that forest elephant, unfortunately. No. Well, if I attack him with the catapult, then I think I can. Yep, we can, but we'll probably lose the pikemen as a result. At least that's kind of what I expect. One more turn to finish Shivari. And then we'll recruit our other unique unit. That should make things much, much faster. Move in. To give them extra targets? I think so. It makes sense to move across. Even if we lost the reindeer archers, that's actually completely fine. We'll replace them with the reindeer knights. That scout is just going to die soon. As for our production, yeah, we need Santa's workshop. That's our unique building. And that's that. So next. We didn't lose anything. Yeah, they decided to attack the pikemen with higher health. And we can still pillage that tile. I'll just try to keep him alive as long as I can. So let's see. Pillage this. And we can get heal instantly. I pretty much assume at least one of these guys will die. Which kind of means we should get more melee units. Yeah, we actually need more melee units. But... The reindeer knights are higher priority at the moment. We can recruit a melee unit in Christmas Village. So, which one? What's our second top production city? That's Elf Town, not Christmas Village. Yeah, let's grab... A swordsman. The city does have barracks, right? Yes, it does. Lock the university first. And check our capital. Looks good to me. So... Well then, we should kill that horseman. I think that's pretty obvious. I can't afford to ignore him. There. We'll need more than just one catapult <laughs> to attack Utike. Fortify here or move? These guys are very low on health. I'll probably lose this pikeman regardless. Let's kill this guy. That way we'll actually have a choice what to attack with what. And move in with the composite bomb end just to give them an extra target. And there's the settler. Where do we want a city? Probably right here. I don't think it's entirely safe. To send him all the way south. No, it probably isn't. It definitely isn't. We got a great general. That will speed things up at least a little bit. But I don't like these guys over here. Well, not much I can do about them right now. Alright. Let's just give that trainee to a city-state. We don't have any influence at all with any city-states, so this will be a bit of a waste, I suppose. But, oh well. At least we'll get something out of it. And now we can build a road here. As for research, yeah, physics. I won't have enough gold to actually upgrade these catapults, but I could throw them away and then recruit trebuchets. We need more gold. Okay. Now. Oh, they have knights now. Well then, we need to hurry up with this, or it's not going to happen. Volley. Volley would help a tiny little bit, but not a whole lot. The pikeman is still okay against a knight, but knights are much, much more dangerous. Let's try to focus on the city. That guy with low health inside the city won't be able to do that much. I can do some damage to the knight, though. We'll do some damage to the knight. And, yeah, I still want skill level 3. 
and skill level 3. So there. And bring that general. I don't really want to go past these guys with the general. Not really. We need to escort him at least. Like this, that's better. So things are getting really interesting. This should be a road. Well, I can't actually use that road until I take the city. We lost a unit, that was to be expected. But as soon as we capture the city, it will be connected to our trade network. Will they oh. actually give us a city? No, they want cities from us. I don't think so. Not going to happen. Are these guys actually doing anything or are they just standing there? It looks like they are just standing there pointlessly. Well, whatever flaws their boat. And now we got a great general bonus. Let's focus on the city. Well, move in. As I said, I don't really mind losing the reindeer archers. We'll just replace them with reindeer knights. I can almost kill the knight. I can almost kill the knight. Well, just leave him alone. Focus on the city. We will reduce it down to red. Move in with the other catapult. I think we'll be able to take it soon. Not sure if it's safe to go here. I don't know if there's a barbarian camp to the south still. They are coming to Elf Town. They have a lot of naval units. They really do. Alright. We will be done soon. I just need to take Otike. I probably won't go for Carthage immediately. Because this war has been going on for a while. I just want Otike for now. We can take Carthage later. Carthage is pretty much crippled anyway. They lost a city to the Mongols. We can take a Carthage at any time later. It's not a big deal. They will be attacking Elf Town. We kind of need walls in Elf Town. I might need to use the Reindeer Knight to defend Elf Town. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Skill level 3. Alright, well, now we can focus on a TK. Can we actually take it right now? I think we'll be able to take it on the next turn. Possibly. Yeah, I think we can take it on the next turn. As long as our pikeman stays alive, but I don't see why he wouldn't. He should be fine. Okay, the barbarian camp is gone. Good to know. I didn't really expect it to still be there, but you never know. Alright. I still need to meet more AIs. No idea where they are hiding. Research. Architecture. We should at least try to build a porcelain tower. Okay, I think Otika is ours. We lost a catapult, but oh well. These are acceptable losses. Skill level 3. Yep, Otika is ours. So now we can just peace out. Kill that guy. And it's ours. We saved a few pretty good buildings. We got a pagoda, a library, aqueduct, university market. That's not bad. And we are still at 11 happiness. And now we can peace out. There's no need to stay at war, actually. In fact, I'd like to focus on the Mongols, perhaps. Because the Mongols are getting really dangerous. Also, I obviously don't want to lose Elf Town. Not that I would, we just killed the only melee ship in the area. But we'll peace out. I don't think we can get any gold from them. Probably not. Alright, peace out. This is turn 105. That's not too bad. 37%. That's not too bad either. That's just a few percent ahead of us. We got a great general out of this war. This was a very good war for us, I have to say. I'm quite happy with it. How much for an upgrade? 70 gold. And now we have to work on our economy a little bit. I will start a city over here. That was kind of the plan all along. And nothing else we can attack. Let's start that city then. Will she actually give us 7 gold per turn for a luxury now? Yes, she will. That's funny. Look at all these fish and whales near Carthage. Wow. Carthage is a pretty crazy city, actually. 
So, start that city. Like this. We're down to 7 happiness, but that won't be a problem for long. And this is still a decent city. Reindeer Haven. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.